All right, let's head on over to the advent calendar. All right, so this is very cool. Thank you, Pokemon, for sending me this super sweet Blastoise and Piplup advent calendar. The artwork on this is amazing. I'm going to have it set up in my office. And like I said, we're cracking packs on each of the days. So we do have to get the first opened, which is right here in the middle. And uh, I don't know exactly what is going to be the best way to do this. Oh, gosh, Andrew, no, you ripped it. You're just destroying it. It feels so bad. Um, <laughs> okay, all right, I got it, I got it. I completely butchered it. I think, like, the doors are, are flaps, you see? And then it says something nice in there, which I'll read to you all. But I definitely just, I just ripped it on the on the first one out. We, we definitely ripped it. It's all good, though, you know? this Things weren't meant to last. All right, it says... It is said that time began moving when Dialga was born. Wow, so we got some cool Pokemon lore in here as well. I would show that to you on the close-up camera, but uh, but it won't fit. This is That would just be very awkward. So uh, it says, it is said that time began moving when Dialga was born. Very cool. And we got a pack of Cosmic Eclipse that we're going to be crackalacking here. So I guess I could just open that. Right on over here, we're going to be giving away the code as well. So that's pretty cool. Let's see, we got a Dupiter, an Aapon, an Onyx, Tepig. Love Tepig. Was talking to Natalie about this. I think Tepig, the Emboar line, very underrated starters in the Pokemon trading card game. I th Or not just the Pokemon trading card game, in the Pokemon universe, right? In Pokemon in general, love Emboar. I think Tepig. Easily growing on me, becoming one of my favorite starter evolution lines. Alolan Sandshrew, Golduck, and we got a Mimikyu, the Shadow Box ability one. Michael Catrone played this to a top four finish, I believe, at the Daytona Regional Championships. Definitely a good card out of Cosmic Eclipse. We got Clay, Primplup, Beastite, and a Code card. Let's see if anybody wants to screen grab that. And uh, you could uh, you go ahead and get yourself a pack of cards on PTCGO. On to the next one. we got to find the second, since today is December 2nd. Thank you, Pokemon, again, for the amazing advent calendar. Very cool. Let's see. And let's try not to, like, completely just absolutely annihilate the calendar, Andrew. It would be really cool if you could do this. Oh, yeah, beautiful. All right. The saying inside this one, wow, check that out. There's a Psyduck, and then the text reads, Psyduck are troubled. We got Mac Attack with the sub. Let's go, Mac Attack. Thanks so much. Psyduck are troubled by constant headaches. The more pain they are in, the more powerful their psychokinesis becomes. That is super sweet. Let's see if we can actually get that. We can almost get the text there. You can kind of see it on the close-up cam. Yeah, hey, that's nice. Yeah, you can see it. Super cool that they included like little sayings and lore in this advent calendar. Just some little Easter eggs there to find in each day leading up to Christmas. That's super dope. All right. And we're going to be cracking our packs. See what we got. Giving away a code. See what we can do. Got ourselves a... Got to find the sweet spot. Chin Chow. Pan Cham. Drillber. Tangle. Eevee. See, <laughs> I don't think I've ever really taken some time to really appreciate Celio as a Pokemon or this card in particular, but that artwork is just awesome. Celio is just, just really laying out there. Looking epic. Swana appears to be our rare card. Water Energy. Great Catcher. Hey, I'll take it. Great Catcher. Amazing card out of Cosmic Eclipse. Seeing a lot of play. Probo Pass. Torkoal, and of course a code, screen cap, and get yourself that uh, that PTCGO pack. Awesome, sweet. So that's it for the advent calendar for now, and we're gonna be moving on to what's in the box as we uh, I guess we set up. Yeah, set up the advent calendar. All nice over there. I guess you guys can't really see that. We could put it we could put it there. Anyways, it's time to see what's in the box. I think I'm going to have to move the advent calendar, to be honest, so that we can make room for box opening stuff over here on the table. Gigantic box from Pokemon. 
Thank you, Pokemon, for the awesome gigantic holiday box. Let's let's see what kind of sweet stuff we got in the box. And I'm really stoked that we get to do this on stream as well. I don't know. I mean, this kind of stuff is it's just fun, right? So, thank you, Pokemon, for providing some awesome content for the stream. Sick. All right, let's uh, let's do this thing. So, I guess we've got some pretty sweet stuff in here. Let's uh, let's show it off on the close cam. First up. We've got a Grookey. Check that out. Grookey. Beautiful plushie there from the Pokemon Center. Looks absolutely adorable and uh, will look phenomenal on the shelf. Raise your hand in the chat if you started Grookey as your starter in Sword and Shield. Grookey uh, is definitely one of the fan favorites. I personally picked Cinderace, but it was a tough choice between Garuki and uh, Score Bunny for me. I really loved Reboot. I think Reboot was my favorite out of all of the starter, you know, basic stage one and stage two evolutions. Reboot, I think, was the coolest one out of all of them. Um, so that, uh, that kind of helped sell me on the Cinderace line, but Garuki is definitely is it Raboot? I'm calling it Reboot. All right, Raboot, whatever. All right, I called him Reboot. Raboot, that's how I remember his name. It's uh, is that it sounds like Reboot. It's Raboot, like rabbit. I get I get the pun now. Anyways, I like Raboot a lot, and I think he's super cool, but Grookey is awesome. I think the fact that they've even got the detail, you know, in the uh, little headband here with the stick tying up his hair is super cool, and a nice little detail for that plushy, awesome stuff. So that is the first thing we've got. Up next, let's see. We've got you guys trying to crack a Cosmic Eclipse Elite Trainer box. Let's go, chat. We've got a Cosmic Eclipse, an entire Cosmic Eclipse Elite Trainer box here. So that'd be pretty sick. Let's see what kind of what kind of awesomeness we can get in there. I guess I'm trying to like figure out what the best way to do with like the box and the organizing of everything. I think I've figured it out. We're gonna keep like the swag in the background. Yeah, like in the background and then I'm gonna be like opening up the stuff right here. I think that's probably the sweetest way to do this. Keep everything on the super nice cam. ETB action going on, and we're gonna be giving away all the codes from the ETB, because I got plenty of codes. So we get some codes out for you guys. Thank you all for being here, hanging out while we crack the holiday pack. I have not opened a Cosmic Eclipse Elite Trainer box yet, so this is gonna be my first, uh, my first go at it. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight packs of Cosmic Eclipse. Of course, the uh, Nice little diviner that comes in there. The Tag Team GX counter. This is gonna be the last time we get, have you guys thought about this? Have you thought about it? I have not thought about it. This is the first time I've thought about this. This is gonna be the last set that we get the GX markers in. GX markers are done. Have you considered that? That's, uh, that, that's it, right? Because Pokemon GX, I think, are, are gonna be done. I mean, for at least the time being, we're getting Pokemon VMAX now. So GX counters, this is your last set that's gonna come with GX counters. We've also got the dice, very cool. I like the color, blue and white swirly. A nice swirly uh, design there and a, kind of like a frosted white die. That's like super sweet. And of course, nice pack of energy. And, uh, oh. The ETB sleeves, awesome. Featuring, uh, what, Dialga, Palkia, and Arceus. We've also got a code there for, I guess, some of the ETB swag. If you wanna go ahead and grab that. And yeah, much more dividers, cool. Let's let's crack these packs, let's get crack lacking. You guys know what comes in an ETB at this point. Let's, uh, let's get Sir cracking, cool. Got ourselves a Ralts, a Simeon, Jangmo. Oh, this is actually one of the last Pokemon for me to get in my Sword and Shield adventure. Uh, I actually had I caught a uh, you know a Jangmo Senior, 
But uh, I did not have a Jang Mo'o, so I had to go and I had to, you know, breed it at the breeder station and then hatch it out of an egg. Whalmer, very cool artwork there on the Whalmer. Look at him cheesing. He's got some real teeth on him. There for sure. Yo, check that out. We've got an ADP. Fantastic rip there. ADP finished. Uh, I think multiple, multiple ADP decks finished in the top eights of the Daytona Regional Championships. And I don't actually own enough ADPs to play the deck in real cards yet. So this is actually very, very helpful. And I'm super thankful for that pull. So busted rip there. And we've got the Metal Energy, the Cosmoeme, the Mawile, Dusclops, and of course, Code, call, code Card. But we all. On to the next one. Busted rip, chat. Absolutely broken. Natalie says we don't own any ADP yet. So that was apparently my first, our first ADP. Excellent. Natalie and I do share a collection. So that is very excellent. Azuril Rufflet. Oddish. Rolts. Dupiter. Groudon. Water Energy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the Cub. Sick. Cool. There she is. Let her rip. ADP, I'm very surprised actually how well that deck did this weekend at Daytona. I know that ADP is a very good deck. I definitely consider it to be one of the best decks in format. It just seemed to me after the Latin American International Championships with Reshizard winning the entire event and Mewtwo decks all over the place, it seemed like kind of a scary time to play Arceus Dagopalkia because Reshizard can just accelerate energy so quick and really take those gigantic knockouts on Arceus Dagopalkia, target them down, get them knocked out before they're able to use their GX attack, their Ultra Creation GX. So I was thinking that Reshizard would be more of a threat at Daytona, but really there were only a couple of Reshizard decks that I saw in day two at the Daytona Regional Championship. So there must have been something kind of happening on the ground there to really stunt the success of Rush Ram and Charizard Tag Team GX. I mean, yo, check that out. Insane rip chat. This is, if this is not a busted ETB, I don't know what is. The Golden Giant Hearth. And an Arceus Taugapalkia, absolute gas. Yo, thanks, Pokemon, for the hookups here. Awesome rip there, the Giant Heart. Sick. Fire Energy, Cricketune, Delmise, Island Challenge, Amanita, and the, uh, the code. Sick. And we still got, like, four more packs left to go. Absolutely nuts. And we've got a lot of stuff. Honestly, chat, we might be here all night opening stuff out of this box. This box is pretty big. So hopefully you're into some unboxing tonight because this, you know, I got this whole box and we're going to open this. <laughs> we're going to open the whole box tonight because I got the camera set up to open the whole box. And you know what? I ain't setting them back up until this whole box is cracked. So you know what I mean? Like I'm not going to break them down and then set them back up. Like the cameras are out here. So we're cracking the whole box tonight. So sit tight, guys. <laughs> we got a lot more to go. There is a code. And looks like we've got at least one more like box of cards to open. I think it's like the uh, the score bunny or the grookey set where you get like the promos, the early release Sword and Shield promo box. I think uh, that uh, I do have that as well. Silent Cook asking, is there no way to set up the camera from an up down view? It's tough to do that. The camera that I am using right here, the front facing camera is very expensive <laughs> and Hanging it from the ceiling is no easy feat. But you know what is easy to hang from the ceiling? 
is a webcam. But the thing is, is that the webcam, the quality on the webcam is not nearly as good. So I could crack packs like this, you know, I mean, that, that's totally fine. But then, you know, it, you don't get the nice view, you see what I'm saying, of the, of the, the front. I really, I really like the, uh, the close-up view of the packs. I think that looks really nice. In my opinion, but you know everybody's got their own taste. So, Cynthia and Caitlin, did I rip a Cynthia and Caitlin? I was kind of talking and and wasn't able to concentrate though. But we did get a Lichen Rock in this set. That's pretty cool. Uh, I did see in the Sword and Shield we got Roxy too. The Sword and Shield leaks that were just revealed. There is a card that affects Pokemon VMAX and Pokemon GX. I thought that that was really cool to see because I was wondering if they were going to completely like kind of write out Pokemon GX from, you know, the Sword and Shield cards or if they were going to continue referencing Pokemon GX or are they still going to reference Pokemon EX in the cards and we did see that there is a card that references VMAX and Pokemon GX at the same time which I thought was really Sweet. And there's the code. All right, that's it for the ETB. Out of the ETB, we got some real sweet stuff. We got Pedro in the chats with the Twitch Prime sub. Pedro, Pedro, Pedro. Thank you so much for that sub, my man. Hopefully you're having a good one and uh, had a most excellent weekend. I saw you had some pretty good... Uh, did I see you on Twitter with the, with the tournament result, Pedro? I feel like I thought I did. Anyways, we got the Giant Hearth and the Arceus Dalgopalkia out of that ETB busted busted pulls there and that is not all chat we've got some more cards to open check this out I got one of these and we got one of these from Pokemon we have got the score bunny box and we've got the uh, Pikachu and EVGX all right press one for Pikachu and EVGX box first, press two for Score Bunny first. Y'all, y'all gonna make this decision for me because I, I don't really know. One, one for this, two for that. All right, guys, what we finally got Uncle Evie. We finally got Uncle Evie. He's here. All right, let's see. We said one for this, two for this, two for Score Bunny. We're getting a lot of twos. All right, are we feeling the Score Bunny pack first? Yes, Uncle Evie is finally here. All right, I see a bunch of twos. We're going to go with the score bunny pack first. We're going to be cracking that. And then we're going to get to Uncle Evie. Check him out with his foul breath. I can't believe they did it to Evie, but they did. And now it's here, and now I own one. Wow. Thanks, Pokemon. That's lit. <clears throat> Alrighty then. Uh, let's uh, let's get crack a on this score bunny box. Let's see. Let's organize all these things here so that you know it doesn't look so disastrous very good come on i've done an opening before there we go hey that looks nice we got the uh fantastic and we get to open this box so these are the first sword and shield cards i guess ever printed score bunny grookey and sobble they did this with sun and moon as well if you remember they printed the the starters first and it makes sense because then you are able to get your hands on some of the new Sword and Shield Pokemon before the set is actually released. Still not super used to that way that they package the cards, though I do like this little insert because <clears throat> it keeps the cards super minty, which is nice and does not damage them. Let's show off all the sweet stuff we got in the pack. We've got a Score Bunny. That beautiful holographic. Let's see if we can, uh, can we like, yo, we get that even closer? Insane. All right, cool. Check out that score bunny. Looks good. The holograph, right, is now vertical. And I believe that's the way they're going to be printing the holograph in all of Sword and Shield, which is really cool. So definitely digging that. It kind of reminds me of the black and white hollow effect if you guys remember that black and white kind of had the horizontal 
hollow effect. This is similar, but vertical. <clears throat> JW saying, please pronounce score bunny correctly. I don't know. How do you pronounce score bunny? Is it it's score bunny, right? That's the way I've always said it. Score bunny. Are there people that are pronouncing it differently than that? Sobble looking very cute as well. Definitely a big Sobble fan. He's adorable and grookey. Awesome, awesome cards there. And of course, we do get the little Score Bunny pin. That is super cute. Had to pick Score Bunny as my starter. You feel me? I mean, in the game, how could you not? Just look at that little dude. He's got a band aid on his nose. I mean, what's not to love about Score Bunny? That's sweet. Here's a code. You guys can unlock some swag on Pokemon Trading Card Game Online right there. And here's the Zamazenta V card. Let's see. Is that a little bit too close? Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. That's super close. Yeah, we're going to do a little on the fly with the DSLR. The Zamazenta V. Now, these cards were printed so that you could not see their type, right? Because they didn't want to reveal the type of these guys yet. I think we found out what Zamazenta V is metal type. So we know that now. They were printing it without the... Is it metal type? I'm going to feel so silly if it's not actually metal type. I'm pretty sure it's metal type, okay? Correct me if I'm wrong. Zamazenta V, metal type. And then I'm pretty sure that Zacian is fairy, right? I, correct me if I'm wrong. Yes. But I'm pretty sure that Zamazenta is metal. Uh, I got sword version, so, you know, don't, don't hold me accountable for that. Anyways, Zamazenta V, very cool, epic looking card for sure. And then we've got some packs that we're going to get opening here. We've got a pack, two packs of Cosmic Eclipse, Unbroken Bonds, and Evolutions. All right, let's go. Are they both metal? Ah, dang. All right, they're both metal. But I thought I saw somewhere. Am I am I completely mistaken that Zacian, um, that Zacian is fairy type? Am I completely just remembering that incorrectly? <laughs> or or uh, or am I am I right that in the game there was uh, some fairy typing going on there? We got a Rowlet. Let me know in the chat. Lillipup. Thank you, Connor. Appreciate it. Skrell. So I'm not completely nuts for thinking that Zacian is fairy type. Because I remember encountering the Zacian and being like, wow. This thing is fairy type. That is, that is certainly odd. J Dubs with the Twitch Prime sub, busted unboxing. Yo, thanks J Dubs for that sub. Thanks to Pokemon for this busted product. There we go. Appreciate it, J Dubs. Yeah, let's see what else we got. Jangmo, Squirrel, Pikachu. Chaotic Swell, busted card, being played in RCS Dalgapalkia, love it. And a Volcarona GX, dang, check that out, okay. All right, Volcarona, I see you. That's pretty dope. Sick, put that over there with our hits. And then we got Darkness Energy, Professor Oak setup. Pig Knight, send your Pig Knights chat. Let me get a Pig Knight in the chat. Let me see that beautiful Pig Knight emote. Look at that. Pig Knight is an all-star. My goodness. I mean, what a handsome Pokemon. That's just, that's just amazing. Pig Knight hanging out in the forest, leaning up against a tree. Very cool. And we got the unidentified fossil and a code. I keep turning it the wrong way. James in Europe. Thanks, James. For the tier one sub. Sandshrew. You guys ever, I think every time I see Sandshrew, I think about the anime where that guy has a Sandshrew and he's training the Sandshrew in the water. And, uh, oh my gosh, Lily says she finally figured out what the pig knight is. <laughs> you guys know that episode from the anime with the Sandshrew and the guy is training the Sandshrew and he's like, Sandshrew! Sandshrew, no! 
Let's go, Saeed Shryu. Am I remembering that wrong, or is that like a real thing that actually happened? Let me know in the chat. I'm pretty sure that was a thing where the guy, yo, we got a radar. Let's go. Pretty sure that was a thing. But it definitely could have not been a thing, and I'm just remembering that for no reason. <laughs> but, you know. It's all good. All right, final pack. <laughs> Thank you, Hatmaster, for for indulging me there in the chat. Vulpix, the fire energy. Honestly, the evolutions fire energy is the best kind of energy there is. I play as many evolutions style energies at tournaments as I can. Yo, we got the Mew. Check that out. The holograph on that thing is stunning. Dope card. Charmeleon, Wartortle, Mewtwo, Tetracryl, Aerodactyl. Oh. <laughs> and we got the Evolutions code card there for anybody uh, anybody who wants to crack that. All right, final box of cards. We have got the very interesting take on Eevee. And we're going to be crackalacking out of here, as well as a very normal-looking Pikachu GX. And of course, out of that last box, we did get the Volcarona GX. It's a nice hit. The pin, I'm honestly very excited about the pin. I think that is a, just super cool. And let's, uh, let's, let's get it rocking. Ah. Boom. Let's go. Let's go gentle now. And gentle, very good. Well done. Okay. Got the gigantic Pikachu GX, the Agility Volt Tackle, and Tailbreak GX. Very cool. As well as a Unified Minds Cosmic, two Cosmic Eclipse, and a Steam Siege. All right, Steam Siege is a throw in there. Here is a code for this box if you want to get yourself. A very ugly, I don't want to call him ugly, a very unique looking EV GX on PTCGO. Be the first one to this uh, this code right here and you can get yourself one of those beautiful EV GXs. All right, let's check them out one by one before we get open in the packs. EVGX, look at that. Very cool take on EV, if I do have to say. Valero getting in there, gifting a sub to Dr. Keith Talent. Thanks so much, Valero, for the gift. And welcome, Valero. Welcome, or welcome, uh, Dr. Keith Talent. EVGX, awesome. It's got that ability, Ascension DNA. We'll get, we'll get a bit close in this. We're going to get this even closer. Let's go right there, yeah. Ascension DNA, once during your turn before you attack, if you have a Pokemon in your hand that evolved from Eevee, you may put the card on the Pokemon, evolve it. Before evolving, heal all damage from this Pokemon. Very neat. And then Joymaker GX, put three cards from your discard pile into your hand. Pretty busted card, and could be a way to play Evolution GXs for sure. Pikachu GX, it's got Volt Tackle, 150 damage, does 32 itself, agility, you flip, if heads, you're invincible. And then Tailbreak GX is 100 damage, and your opponent's extra Pokemon's auto paralyzed. Very cool. Eevee, very cute Eevee there. And it's got, what, the little uh, Tie Rogue there in the background? Blizzy memes with the busted sub. Thanks so much, Blizzy. And Rhyhorn. We got a lot of cool Pokemon and Shatot. And then this Pikachu, gotta love it, with Donphan in the background and Hoppip. Very cute. EV art for sure. And we've got some packs. Let's open the Steam Siege first and see what we got going on. Yanma. Sneasel. You know it's a busted pack if you got a Sneasel in it. Thanks so much, Josh Carnell with the tier two sub. 12 months subbed. Thanks so much, Josh Carnell. Appreciate it. Yo, Josh, for hitting the 12 months, go ahead and uh, 
go ahead and send me your your details, Josh Carnell, and I'll get you get you some stickers and swag sent out your way. Thank you so much, Josh Carnell. Tier two, 12 months. Appreciate it. Let's get some vanillishes in the chat. Sneasel there, beautiful Pokemon. So stoked they included Sneasel. Yo, they had to include Sneasel in Sword and Shield. How could they not? He's a broken Pokemon. Litleo, Nosepass, Chimchar, Pokemon Ranger, Nidoking, very cute artwork. Greedy Dice. Raise your hand in the chat if you ever at one point even considered playing Greedy Dice in your deck. Don't lie to me. Don't lie. I'm raising my hand. Raise your hand if you had ever once considered playing this card. I know you have. I know you have. Riley, raise that hand, bud. We've all thought about it. What are the odds? Hmm. Could I win a game by playing Greedy Dice? <laughs> Persian. Rapidash. And uh, the old code there. We got a lot of people admitting that they had tried Greedy Dice. Oh, yes. I am not above the Greedy Dice. I definitely gave it a, I gave it a mental thought. I don't believe I ever committed the Greedy Dice to sleeves, but I did at least think about it for a little while. Helioptile. That is a cool Helioptile card for sure. Sun Flora. Flareon, busted. William! And the code is the other way around this time. Gotta love that. It's always like a, you know, a guessing game with the pack openings. Which way is the code going to be facing? Nobody knows. Oh, did you guys see that Mincino that got revealed? Basically, Zorark's trade getting reprinted. Absolutely insane. Crazy. Cray cray. Press 1 in the chat if you're excited about the new Mincino. Press 2 if you're scared about the new Mincino or maybe not so excited. Press 1 if you're excited and that you welcome back trade. Press 2 if you're like, kind of wish trade was uh, was not a thing. <laughs> Red and blue, Erica. Vibrava. And the busted code. I mean, we already have... I'm kind of excited about it. We already have Pidgeotto. I mean, Pidgeotto is basically trade light. So, you know, the Pidgeotto just gets stronger, I think, because you just get to draw more cards. Hapu. Salazzle. Reset stamp. Busted pull. I'll take it. And Denny. And there it is. I think I did this every single time. <laughs> I don't know that I got it correct once because I'm looking in the, you know, I'm looking at the monitor when I'm opening to make sure that things look correctly on the front cam. And it's very difficult for me to to orient myself correctly when I'm on the, uh, you know, the face cam. Very, very cool. So out of all the Pokemon product, I guess as far as our, GXs and secret rares are concerned. Pretty sure I'm not missing anything, but we did get some pretty busted stuff, if I do say so. Especially out of that Elite Trainer Box. The Elite Trainer Box was definitely the most insane pulls we got. So we got the Pikachu GX out of the kit there. We've got the Arceus Dalgo Palkia out of the Elite Trainer Box. The EVGX also out of that last box we just opened. Volcarona GX. Giant Hearth. The most busted pull out of the Elite Trainer Box. Absolutely insane that we were able to get a GX and the Secret Rare Stadium. Very, very cool. All right, up next. There's more. But there's more. There's more, chat. Can't believe it. We've got this. It appears to be drinkware from the Pokemon Center. Let's see it. Drinkware from... No idea what we're getting into. I'm guessing maybe a mug? Could be a mug. That would be pretty sick. 
Let's see, where's the sweet spot? There it is. There is no picture of it on the front. It is just purely a surprise. We have no idea. So that is definitely uh, suspense-inducing. What's in the box? Well, let's take a look. We're all going to see it together. Inside the box? <laughs> it's cardboard. But underneath the cardboard is, wow, look at that. That is a beautiful mug. A Sabo mug. That is insane. Nice coffee mug. Wake up every morning and uh, and I do make coffee at the apartment with Natalie. So mugs are very, very useful. Um, and uh, definitely I'm into that. Very neat. We got the Sobble mug. I think of all the Pokemon I could have gotten on the front of the mug here, I think Sobble was uh was definitely dope and the blue and the bubbles i mean it's just it's super super cool gotta love that beautiful but wait chat there's still more things in the box let's go what else we got in here there is one more thing this beautiful holiday looking box box in a box check that out that's pretty rad nice wintry looking box and then if we see what's inside the box, ah, well, we're going to see together as a team. This box is, like, very nice, though. And it's branded with the Pokemon Company International on the side. Thank you, TPCI, for the love this holiday season. I'm keeping this box for sure. The box is sick. Check that out. Yo, Pika Claws out here this is the pokemon holiday lights pikachu with its nice little winter coat on and its beard it's got a elastic beard how funny is that that is too cool very nice pikachu all right so we've got pikachu santa claus pika claus we've got some 8-bit stickers i love these actually uh when i was at the world championships this past year, I actually sought this out and bought a pack of these from the Pokemon Center stand-up store that was at the World Championships. So I'm really excited to get another one. I actually have the Espeon is on my skateboard that I have, you know, behind the uh, behind the shelf here. So I'm really stoked about this. I also have some on the back of my computer. So really stoked to get to play some more. And then we've also got... A Seasons Greetings pin card set comes with a Eevee and a Pikachu pin as well as some cards that you can send away. Holiday greeting cards. Very cute. That is amazing. So awesome stuff from the Pokemon Company International. Thank you so much, TPCI.